this is my puppy. These are my orchids that some of them are about to bloom again. And these are my potted pelargoniums, different colors. I bring them out, I propagate. And this is my viburnum plicatum, Mount Kilimanjaro, and boxwoods. Of course, they will grow bigger, so this part will look much better in the future than it is now. This is the front part of my garden. And it is fenced in, double fenced in for my puppy because we absolutely don't want anything to happen to this precious little thing. He is the best puppy ever. The smartest, the most cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So all of this front yard is his. So when I open the front door, he can go outside and I'm always sure that he's safe here and nothing will happen because we live near the forest. These are black raspberries and they're delicious. They're wild. Of course, they grow like weeds everywhere and you have to really keep an eye on them and not let go wild, but it's you know, believe it or not, it's a huge rhododendron bush under it, so I need to clean up that um, wild grape. It's like a jungle here. This region is absolutely just, it's moist in the summer, warm, everything grows, flourishes. And this is a beautiful rose made of Kent. But the saddest thing is that it had a, has a virus, rose virus, so that means I'll have to go and destroy it. And that's how it looks. That's how rose virus looks. It's heartbreaking, and I hope other roses won't get infected with this. So this is a little walk that is shaded. I have spaces that are open, and I have spaces that are tight and closed in so you'll have to slow down and explore and you sometimes you have to bend over to get by so the garden is uh, multi-dimensional I have a tremendous amount of plantings, tremendous variety. This is another um, Japanese snowbell tree. It has fruit. It's blooming and the blooms are very fragrant. They're white and fragrant. And then they produce this little fruit. Uh, I almost lost this tree. I lost one of those Japanese snowbell trees to a tree borers. So this one is injured also, but I let the other shoots coming from below to grow so I can at least preserve some of its tree. But I will try to propagate using the seeds because I really, really love the tree. It's a small tree. It's a decorative tree. It's beautiful and it's hardy. These are my roses. And here you go, back to my puppy. Where are you? Where are you? Oliver, here you are. Look at this face. <laughs> Cutest thing. You are my joy, you are my joy.